back to Great Neck, Long Island, where he would note, I find that I can't live at Great Neck on anything under 36000 a year, and I have to write a lot of rotten stuff that bores me and makes me depressed. But when his friend Louise Brooks protested that no writer needs to live on such a scale, he replied, Well, don't you think, though, that the American millionaires must have had a certain amount of fun out of their money? Think of being able to give a stupendous house party that would go on for days and days with everything that anybody could want to drink and a medical staff in attendance and the biggest jazz orchestras in the city alternating night and day. I must confess that I get a big kick out of all the glittering, expensive things. And so the party in Great Neck continued on and on and on and on.